Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Eugenia Ken. I'm a teaching fellow for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet. This is a video of the week on CSS. So what is CSS? Um, technically it's short for Cascading Style Sheets. And the term Cascading Style Sheets refers to a technology used to manipulate the presentation of HTML and XHTML content. Basically, it is a way to control how that content is displayed the layout, the font, all the stylistic elements of a web page. It also helps deal with the problems that things like nested tables can present in a website. These so-called style rules are written in CSS syntax and can be saved to a web page in one of three ways, inline, embedded, or with external style sheets. So what are the advantages of using CSS? Well, three words in short flexibility, browser rendering, and accessibility. So let's start with flexibility. When making a website, you may have a lot of little factors involved. Your font style, your background color, your element locations, so, so on and so forth. Quite often, these characteristics undergo many changes during the course of development. If you have only one or two pages in your site, it's easy to manually go in and make those changes. But if you have 10, 20, or even 50 pages, Having to make the same changes in each page can be time consuming and you run the risk of uh, creating errors. With CSS, you can edit one file and have those changes be applied to all the pages at once. You can also offer your viewers a more personalized experience on your website by allowing them to customize the way they view it by offering multiple or customizable style sheets. Here's one example of how you can apply multiple style sheets to a page from the World Wide Web Consortium, or W3. Also, in this day and age, fast internet connections may feel like a given. However, there are still many users on dial-up connections. Having elements like font tags or nested tables can result in pages that are slow to load. With CSS, a dial-up user's browser can start rendering when it receives the page from the server because there is little, if any, actual presentational markup in it. Additionally, if external style sheets are used, the browser has to download the CSS file only once. As soon as it is cached by your computer, it can more quickly apply styles to successive pages in your site. Also, you may want to take into account that there are visually impaired users. Um, they, those kind of users will often use software called screen readers to reuse the web. These readers have a really hard time with nested tables. They often cannot decide if they should read the content left to right, in columns like a newspaper, or if it needs to skip something. If it needs to skip something, how does it get back to that content later? Using CSS, the screen reader sees just the content. Now that we've talked about why CSS is useful, let's take a look at how it works with one simple example, making a piece of text appear red. With inline text, you would type open angle span space style equals open quote color colon red, close quote, close angle bracket, your text, open angle bracket, slash span, close angle bracket. This makes the text that's only between the two tags appear red. With embedded, you would type open angle bracket style space type equals quotation text slash CSS close quotation close angle bracket, P, open curly bracket, color, colon, space, red, close curly bracket, open angle bracket, slash, style, close angle bracket. In between the style tags in your XHTML document head. Then every time you use the paragraph tag, your text would appear red. With a linked file, you would type, open angle, link, space, REL equals, quotation mark, style sheet, close quotation mark, space, type, 
equals quotation mark text slash CSS quotation mark space href equals quotation mark style dot CSS close quotation mark slash close angle bracket. In your document head to link to an external file named style.css. Then you would create a file called style.css and define the paragraph element text as being the color red by typing p space open curly bracket color colon space red close curly bracket within the .css file. For more information about how to apply CSS styles to your website, go to http colon slash slash www.w3schools.com slash css slash css underscore reference dot asp. They detail all the ways that CSS can be applied and offer lots and lots of examples. Well, that's it for this video of the week. Thank you for watching.